Hello everybody, I'm Jerome Wright here again and um, you're in tune to my Jeronification channel here on YouTube. Um, I think we're at our about our 102nd video here that, um, that I'm making and um, as I always told you that I don't have no end to these videos or the discoveries that I can make regarding how mankind came into existence and um, there is um, genetic manipulation and bridging being continued on today the image that I have up here is of um, of Jesus hanging on the cross and this is another very famous image um, it's a, um, a creation by or uh, artry, artistry by Polo, Polio I think it's Ucello and it was created in 1460 um, between 1460 and 1465, okay. Um, you can Google the image. Um, it's Paleolio, uh, P A O L O, a Ucello, U C C E L L O, and it was created between 1460 and 1465, okay. Um, Renaissance painting, and I'm going to be telling you decoding the UFO object right there and um hopefully um you'll get something out of this um after i get done okay first of all i would like to suggest to you that that is not a ufo okay um have, have you seen have you as you have seen in my many other videos i have created <coughs> Well, actually, I um, created multiple videos where I've actually identified these objects or what they are. They're celestial bodies, and it shows you how these celestial bodies arrived in our world from out of space. I have done the um, the Christ by Gelder, um, that celestial mass, which I've shown you what that was. Um, you can see the video here. Actually, um, in the Christ by Gelder, I highlighted multiple air, um, whale images up in the um, in in the air in that in that video, um, and um, and then and encrypted in the land masses, and on the the baby Giovanni with the um, with the Madonna. Also, I pulled in that image and showed you celestial whales and reptilians and everything else in that mass, and here I am again. I'm going to show you a whale or a shark like creature. Okay? Look right here, people. I'm at the eye, over top of the eyelid, below the eyelid. There's the eye. There's the nose. There's the mouth of that of a shark. There's the teeth. Here's the bottom of the mouth. And here is the body of the whale. Right there. Okay, or a killer whale shark, let's put it there. Jesus' cross pierces the skin of the whale. Look, people, he's cross reference. Remember, I told you that the cross means cross reference? Cross reference, not just with the whale. Look at the other creature back here eye, left eye, right eye, nostril area, mouth area. And then we have our reptilian being that is in here. And the reptilian looking creature which looks like an alien. Its right eye is there created in the, in the mouth of this being right here. The um, left eye is right there. And then this um, reptilian mouth is down here. Then, if that don't beat all people, let's come up here. Look at this bull like creature right there. I'm at the chin. There's the mouth. There's the nostril. There's the cranial people, there's the eye, and there, there's the eye. People, these images are showing you your genetic becoming on how you were created. To see it in highlight fashion, I have took the courtesy of highlighting what is there for you. Notice how the whale, had, I mean this killer whale, look, there's the fin on top. Right there, people. Look. Now that it's highlighted for you, you can actually see it. People, you have been had. There were people that know how you came, became the whole time. Look at this. 
Look, people. Look over here. Look at on the back of this killer whale's body. Look at this creature that I highlighted for you. Left eye, right eye. Look at the bridge of the nose. Look at the mouth. And then the mouth cleverly creates. There's a reptilian right here, people. Your alien. The right eye is created in the mouth of this creature here. Then there is the left eye. And I even highlighted the reptilian mouth for you people. Look. Look at that reptilian mouth. Look at that. You see that? Now come down here. Well, hold on. It's, it's, i got to bring it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit there. Look. There's the reptilian's mouth right there, people. Look. You see that? Look at that reptilian creature. Frog-like, well, the reptile-looking creature, like a frog. I can't even say a frog because it doesn't even look. It looks like a reptilian. Look at that, like a lizard creature. Look at that. There is the head, the outline of the head, right there, coming around the eye, right there. And look, people, just like I told you that the cross does not mean that holy symb symbolic meaning that you actually are led to, are doped into believing that it believe. But it is showing you the actual reason why the cross is actually being utilized as a symbol for what I told you that it was. It's the cross-referencing. And here are the founding genetics being cross-referenced with that of the body of Jesus. People, what are you, when are you going to get these messages that, I mean, that, I mean, and this is not even, this is just a small portion of everything that is there to be realized about this, people. This, it, this is so huge that it's so enormous that it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. This here, people, goes back before a time, before there was even man on our planet. But yet there are records that referencing all of this. And people, I can go back beyond this. I can take you to places where... You, I mean, it's beyond the realms of, 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 of any reasoning or comprehension. But yet, I can bring you into this zone, this, this multidimensional zone, where all of this stuff exists, and I can show you, I can take you back, all the way back to a time before it was all of this, and show you how this came, and where it came from, and bring you current to the future, and then where it's going, or where it can go. People, this is what our existence is all about. You have to lose understanding as it was taught to us. It is not real. What is real is what's happening here. And what these knowledge is. People back in the 14th century. 14th century. They knew about this stuff. What is that? Some seven, eight hundred years ago? Maybe even longer than that? Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm losing my mathematics here. But if I did, just forgive me. Because I don't... I don't do mathematics in my head. Actually, I sucked at it in school, too, by the way, people. But I think, what, seven, eight hundred years ago? Maybe longer? I don't know. But anyway, in fact, let me just do that right quick. We're in the, um, we're in the 20, 2013 here. I don't want to mess this up. 2013, 14, I guess that's about, what, seven, 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 eight hundred years ago? I don't know. All right? But anyway, look at this, people. Look at this stuff. This stuff was not even supposed to have been known. It's not supposed to have been known. Look at this. And look, I just brought you some UFOs in my last video. And it has similar objects. The fish with the rept with the with the um with the with the reptilian and, and, and the other creatures on the back end of it. And I know what they are. I know what they are. I know what this all means, people. I'm going to let this video end short and all. I'm going to leave you with this and all because, I mean, uh, I don't know what to do here because here I am releasing some compelling information and still yet, every time I turn my computer on the following day, I am not viral. You know what I mean? I am not viral. What I, what I have to do, I mean, I, what, I, what I have to do, reach through your screen to show you that this is real and I have a real... Um, a genuine paranormal experience and encounter? Is that what must happen? I must reach through your screen and say, hey, and shake you a little bit and say, hey, look, dummy, this is real. Well, maybe I should do that. But anyway, I'm, no, I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't want y'all to think that I'm, 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 I'm on it like that. 
but people I do have a genuine experience and encounter and it is a um it's an uplifting experience I can I, I mean mentally I can go anywhere dimensionally mentally um it's a wonderful feeling that I have and um it's an experience that I mean that it's going to be with me forever I mean forever in existence I mean knowing what and experiencing what I have can take you anywhere in existence you know what I mean and not only do I instinctively know that but I was shown that and people when I tell you that this is this is, is something that is, is, is unique and great it, it really is and and for these people to even know a part of this back in um, in the 14th century back then just imagine people what kind of um, 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 intelligent minds that you were dealing with you know what I mean and, and here this is showing you look at this this is this is actually showing you that back then in the journey of Jesus and Moses and um, Abraham Noah they had this knowledge about this and these Renaissance artists was drawing and letting you know of their of these of these of their higher knowledge and by the way, people, I know what this means too, but I'm going to save that for another time. And all you guys ain't sent me viral yet. I can't give y'all everything. I'm giving y'all all of these creatures and showing you how you came to be. And genetically, I can show you what, I mean, I can alter bloodlines. I can create man. I can I can do all of the above. And this is how Adolf Hitler rambled on. And, and, and we thought that he was a mad dictator and all of that. Adolf Hitler had a knowledge for this. And you know how I know he had a knowledge for this? Because he had a vast collection of, of, um, of, um, of paintings from around the globe, from around the world, in his collection. Most of them which he stole, and some of them which he created himself, because he was an um, inspiring artist. And this was his thing. He knew. And, and some of the rooms and stuff that I've seen on, online... That those circular rooms that he had, and because there is communications that you can communicate with multi-dimensional existences. I, I mean, I can explain that as well too, people. All of Hitler knew, and when he was talking about creating that, that um, that um, that um, that what you call him race, that 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 superior race, this man was dead on. He was on spot with that because he knew. You know what I mean? It can be done. It can be done, and he knew, and this is why it was important for everyone, for 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 the um, for the other nations to attack um, Germany and get that man out of power. Not because of what he was talking, the rhetoric of which he was talking, which was not rhetoric at all. They were afraid that he was going to alter, if he became in control, alter the whole destiny of the genetics of mankind, and that's why they got him out of power, and. These, these, um, these, um, the nations that attacked Germany during that time and oysted Hitler from power. I mean, people, I mean, think about it. Who were at the head of all of that? You know what I mean? 90% of our world is all, is, I mean, it's pretty much all Christian. You know what I mean? This, 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 this Christian founded ancient belief is actually, which is actually at the center of all of this. They were actually at the center of this, this art era, where I'm finding all of this stuff in the art. This knowledge, people, is a knowledge that is, is, that, that is privileged to a select few that knows exactly what is going on. You know what I mean? And um, knowing who you are, I can't, I mean, I can't express enough as having the identity and giving yourself back, your, it empowers you to a greater understanding of who you are. All you can be, where you can go, I mean, it's just an, it's, it's an, it opens up your mind to something that is so more vast. I mean, it's like you're living in a small, it's like you're living in a small box right now. When you get into this stuff, people, it opens you up, your mind up to, I mean, to everything. It opens up your mind, not just to the world around you, but to all of space and all of that that, that is in existence. And this is the reason why those great minds back then explore so many different areas and knowledge and in so many fields I mean in everything in so much as far as I was you would wonder what inspired them people look at this if you would have knew this when you were in school or when you when you were born when you I mean when you had actually when you got to the point where you can actually start learning people wouldn't this have became a great interest to you 
they had you in some old so boring Bible mess, reading some boring Bible mess and and literature and, and religious um, um, literature that you could not make any sense of until now because the all of that ancient text, all that does is let you know where these ancient biblical figures were cross contaminating their genetics with all of the different many nations, and that can be said with every ancient biblical historical biblical figure, such as Noah, such as Abraham, such as Judas, such as Jesus. You know what I mean? These miracle babies, all of that stuff, people, is referencing how these genetics evolved from this point and on through all of those different journeys. And it's, 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 it's a genetic holy grail. That's all it is. You know what I mean? It's no different than you going and, and having your DNA extracted from you. And they can read on the um, on a barcode what you genetically and what your genetic makeup is. But these people took it to another step. Everything that you are, all the contributing creatures to, to, to how mankind was created, I have that knowledge with me. You know what I mean? And I can't express enough. So what I do is I keep showing you that I can produce and tear down the, the, the founding stones of everything that we believe in. You know what I mean? And in doing this, this helps me show you that I'm dead on spot and I mean, and, and I'm not going to let up. You know what I mean? And it gets better and better and better and better. I can show you this. I can show other people that if you don't know where it comes from or understand, you still don't know anything. You're still in the dark. I can show you this stuff. You know what I mean? This is the first time you have ever seen anything like, well, no, not the first time because I have 100 plus videos that have other similar stuff in it. These whales, these sharks, I mean, these, these, these um, um, reptilian beings. I mean, this is not nothing new, people. I've been showing these to you all along. And the reason why you see me utilizing Jesus is because the, the, this man is, is, is I mean, he's, he, I mean, he was placed in a place that was higher than life. I'm not really picking on him in a sense that, I mean, like trying to take him apart from you spiritually and all of that. I'm just letting you know that what you believed is not true about this man. This is what I'm telling you. It's not true. What we need to do is we need to take and revisit everything based on what I am showing you. Here we have another famous image where ancient alien or um, um, theorists have made this very um, famous because they said that this is a UFO. I know what this is. I know what this is. So therefore, um, if I can take you back into a, a 14th century artist artwork, and take it apart and give you a new understanding and new meaning. I mean, people, I mean, where are you at with me? I mean, when are you going to get on board? I can take you back through this. I could take you, I could take you into space where this all came, originated from. I can take you anywhere that you want to go with this, people, because I have a true, genuine experience in an encounter that allows me to go anywhere with this. And it's not just me talking about it and the rhetoric about it. It's about me being able to show you. And you can see this creature here. Look, you can look you, as you see me have this creature highlight here. Look at the look at the face right here in the matter. Look at this, people. I'm coming around the chin, coming around the chin, into the mouth, over the top lip, at the nose, coming around the nose, up on the bridge of the nose. There's an eye up at the forehead. You know what I mean? And look at the, the, the overhang of the skin comes down around the the, um, the left eye, I believe. Yeah, the left eye, and come back around. Look at these faces, people, that are in this stuff. You know why? Because that's what this was all about. It shows you the evolutionary faces of our ancestors. And then, people, even scarier yet is that, well, not scary. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually compelling and remarkable is the fact that I'm able to, I can identify with and associate with things about this image that not even the artist knew at the time that he created this. If I was an artist, my gosh, look out, I can create artwork that would be probably 20 or 30 times more valuable than Rembrandt's, than Michelangelo's, and um, 
let me see Bernini's and all of that. But then and again, to do this stuff, you really didn't. Well, to be an artist, to draw, to draw art, I mean, current body, but to draw the faces of our ancestors, I don't even have to be an artist to do that. I, I mean, because I have, I mean, they they appear for me to draw over them. I can draw. I can I can produce them at will, pretty much. Because of my genuine experience and encounter. Well, I'm going to let this video go. It was supposed to be short and I ended up going on. What happens, people, when you hear me going on, it sounds like I'm going off in so many different directions. What happens is once I open up my mind to start talking about this stuff, there's an over sense of anxiety that comes into me. And then I can't shut up. Um, and what happens is once I start talking about it, my anxiety level goes up. I start releasing this information, and then new information comes into me. You know what I mean? So then there's this this this, this sense of confusion and all of that because as I'm releasing, it's like me turning on a valve and letting this stuff flow out of me. Informations are coming in, and then there's this this, this there's this traffic jam of information that's in me because there's information being washed out, and then there's new coming in, and my mind is just all over the place. It's like I mean, it's, it's it's incredible, people. It's like being plugged in. It's like having a a, um, a fiber actor cable hooked from me into everything in our world, and then a, a strand of it running into space, and all of that information is just running through my mind. And and it's just, I mean, the average person would lose their mind and go crazy behind this stuff. It really would. And how I keep my sanity is I got to keep making these videos. I got to keep talking about this and I got to keep releasing this information because if I allow it to consume me in a way that it just stays bottled up and bottled up then I'll blow up so you can expect more of these videos having said all that you can expect more of these videos and everything I keep rolling on what I need is, is a team of experts people if you can help me go viral get me that I can get that team of experts and I mean this is this is with me for the rest of my life I'm going I already know I'm going to be rich and famous behind it all that I mean that's a given my thing is that the money does not even matter. The, the, what I need the money for is to help me take and get this stuff out and get experts to, to actually talk for me. All I got to do is point them in a direction, tell them what it is, tell them what's going on, and let them add the scientific lingo to it. All I want to do is this for the rest of my life. I want to sit down and just look at images, study images, and draw over top of them like I'm doing here. Forget the money. I mean, you know what I mean? All I want to do is be able to get out there and get famous so I can take a break from all of this, from letting my mind have to actually explain this in the videos and let somebody do it for me in the expert way that it actually deserves to be done. That's what I'm trying to get at. You know what I mean? So, people, if you care enough about what I'm doing, help me help you. Look at this. Look at this, people. Look at the heads and faces here. Look at this. Show and evolve from here. You can see their faces. People, this is this is this is something, and I can take you somewhere in this image where you can, I mean, I can take you and 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 have you lose your mind in here, you know what I mean? Because this is what this is all about: these multi-dimensional existences and our ancestors and the true bloodlines of where we evolved from. It tells you who you are, and it opens up new doorways and new possibilities to new cures to a lot of disease and sicknesses that we have and things that we never even knew existed. And on top of that, people, this is still going on. There's a genetic bridging that's going on. And what's happening is there's a select few of people that is altering the genes of mankind. And what, what is going on is we're sequestered as a world, meaning that our nations are divided. Because it is not just but because of religion. Well, yes, because of religion, but because these cross contaminations, these segregations, almost think of our world as as these different nations as being prisons, prison islands where these genetic contaminations. These there was a cocktail made up, and I'm accusing the Vatican of being at the center of it all, and then going out and cross contaminating these other nations with genes that originated from our ancestors. And when you see these new sicknesses and stuff pop up, um. Like such as AIDS, we used to hear that back. I remember when I was uh, um, when I heard rumors about well, AIDS were um, was created and then and Africa was contaminated. Well, now I can say that that's 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 a very true statement because I found the evidence of it. Not just Africa, but other areas. I mean, even in the U.S., where these new um, diseases and viruses and stuff are popping up, these people are introducing stuff into our genes, and they can do it legally. Through medicines, through food, 
I mean, these contaminations are going on on a, on a, on a mass scale. People, I can show you the roots of this stuff and what's going on with all of this. You know what I mean? We are being genetically altered. I guess if you want to, if you want to believe that for the for the better goodness and kind, I mean, for the better goodness of all mankind, I, if you want to believe that, I can take you and show you how it was being done from the very beginning. Who initiated this? Because the Vatican and 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 and, and Christianity as we know it is not very. I mean, they're not the guilty parties of it. The only thing they are guilty of is continuing a pagan cult-like worship that has begun from the roots, from the roots of time. And what it is is that they're continuing something that was initiated by our ancestors, and they're guilty. Oh, and they're guilty of not letting the rest of the world know, as I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? They're guilty of that. Imagine people, if I would have took this stuff, I just kept quiet about it, went to somebody else first, an uh, expert, and they just hushed me up, gave me tons and tons of money to be quiet about, probably ended up killing me later on, or uh, sticking a giant needle in my damn arm and taking, before they taking my blood out and my semen, and you know what I mean, because that's what that's all about, taking all of my genetics out of me and, and, then, and then making me disappear somewhere, you know what I mean, thinking that I was going to get rich off of it. Imagine if I would have done that, people. As opposed to me making these videos here for you on YouTube and educating you about what's going on around you. My videos are everywhere right now. They're playing in Pakistan with five star ratings and everything. Um, numbers are going up. Not the way I want to though because you know I thought three years ago that once I showed my first video and I, and I was on Alien UFOs, once I made my first announcement, I thought that I would be rich and famous by now and been off of them. But I guess things happen for a reason. You know what I mean? I'm not rich and famous yet, but I'm going to tell you something now. I'm damn close to it. I'm at the threshold of it. Look at this, people. Look at this. I'm at the threshold of it. A killer whale shark. Fin, eye, mouth. Showing you with this object coming out of its mouth, which I know what it is. And look, and showing you that there. And which alien UFO theorists and everybody else thought that that was a spaceship that's what they're telling you if you google that uh, ancient aliens and all of that stuff there ancient UFO this will pop up but look what I'm showing you look at this people a killer whale teeth and all fin creature on the back of it reptilian here and I know what all of this means I know what all of this means, and I can describe it in, in great detail. What it all means, and what's going on. Look at these creatures. Showing morphing Jesus, and all of that. People, my name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And I'm telling you now, you got to make me go viral. You know what I mean? This, this is what it's all about. Go Send me viral. Alright? Thank you.